What is up YouTube, it's Kingfisher745, and you may have seen my last lockbox opening. We didn't quite get the Winter Soldier, so we're here once again, and this time, we will be recruiting him. By the way, we did fill the 7th dupe bar, and then we came back with 49 lockboxes. It didn't take long because the first 10 is actually going to give us our final cover. That one's Winter Soldier 5 of 8. So I was pretty happy to get him and we didn't quite fill that final bonus bar though I think we were over half. At this point though what we're going to do is check out his recruitment, his dialogue, then we'll look at his comic cover collection and his storyline in depth. So there we have it, Spec Up 32 is basically done but we do need a few weapons. And as far as Winter Soldier, let me guess, Fury told you to keep an eye on me, smart move. I'd do that too if I were him. Says a lot about you though. I know enough to know that Fury doesn't trust many people. I'd say he trusts you. Alright Agent, where do we go from here? Well we're gonna go to his comic cover collection, then his storyline, and then we'll see some early level action. The first cover is going to be Captain America Volume 5 number 31. And this cover was published in 2007. Next we have Winter Soldier Volume 1 number 1. And Soldier spelled wrong. But hey, we all make mistakes. Next we have Captain America Volume 1 number 619. This one's going to be followed by Captain America and Bucky Volume 1 number 621. Art by McGinnis Vines and Staples. Next we have the final cover I got, Captain America and Bucky, Volume 1, Number 624. It took a little while to get that, but it could have been worse. Then we have Captain America and Bucky, Volume 1, Number 626. After that, Number 7 is going to be Winter Soldier, Volume 1, Number 4. And lastly, the one that drove me crazy, Winter Soldier, Volume 1, Number 7. So that's it, the entire Winter Soldier's collection. Do you have them all? If not, which ones are you still missing? Let me know in the comment section below. Now as for Bucky's story. Bucky, mind if the agent and I have a few words with you? We just need to make sure it's you. I get it, Steve. Really. I know you have to do this. I get it. So where do we start? How much do you remember before and after our mission to capture Zola? I remember training at Goldie's. You begged me to teach you how to fight. It's like a dream. It comes back in waves. As for my missions after Zola, well, those are mostly blank. I remember the leader, but that may be because of the mental link between us at the time. Steve, I want to help you, but I honestly can't recall much about my time as the Winter Soldier. I know I've done terrible things. I can't ever pay it all back, but I want to try. I know, Buck. You've got my support. Agent, do you mind talking to Coulson and the others? I think I might be too close on this one. Will do, Cap. Alright, so now the only thing left to do is to check him out in action. And here we go against a three-way fight, plus we're using Red She-Hulk. So it's a twofer. We should get plenty of attacks, especially since both these characters really aren't that tough right now. Winter Soldier being a level 1. And Red She-Hulk, well, she's not bad, but she's not OP at all. After we dot up the first wave, the Hand Dragon's going to use Harness Chi and attack my agent. That gives us an extra turn because of the Dark Energy Blade. So let's just say he made a mistake. Next up, we're going to use our level 2 from Red She-Hulk, and that does apply flanked. So with our one and only attack aim shot, it has advantage causes pain and hobbled, and most importantly gives him retaliation. We should definitely be seeing quite a few counters in this fight. Also, that's not bad damage, especially coming from a level 1. And after that, we're going to hire Colleen Wing to finish off the remaining enemy. So, on to the next wave. This one's going to actually have three enemies, starting with a protector. Unfortunately, we do have to recharge with my agent. But right after the Hitman attacks, he does take a retaliation from the Winter Soldier. The same thing goes for a Hand Dragon. 
So as you can see, he's definitely going to retaliate if someone attacks his teammates. And he'll be doing that a lot. I suppose it adds something to only having one ability. The fact that he's going to use it so much. Now of course my agent was stunned which is why they were bypassing his protect. Luckily he does get a reflect and at least interrupts the hitman. Then on the next attack, we see another retaliation. What we haven't seen yet is Red Hulk's curb stomp. And it puts somewhat of a hurting on all the enemies, but most importantly causes aftershock. That does take down the protector, so Winter Soldier can feel free to attack whomever he wants. Of course that's going to be the tactician on the enemy team, and then we're going to hire Jessica Jones to almost finish the enemies. Instead I guess we'll have to do that with Red She-Hulk. So yeah I've been using the hire a hero in PvE but I haven't even tried it in PvP still. And I just don't think it's going to be that great. We'll see though, I'll try it out eventually. But for now I think it's just going to be a PvE edition, unlike the Lantern of Doom. But stamina is an issue, so we're going to have to recharge once again. This time after the enemy attacks, Bucky's going to counter with his combat reflexes, and it does nice damage. Then with an attack from Red She-Hulk, it also does solid damage, and takes down the top enemy, with some help from collapsing infrastructure. And fortunately, we do finish it off with Bucky. So that's going to be it for our first look and recruitment of the new lockbox character. I hope you all have luck in getting him, and we'll be back with an all new All Hail the King episode tomorrow. That's it for now, so thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Then until next time, good luck, and take care.